Bork at the center point with five. Batoni, one timer. That's blocked. Nice play, Arsini. Five seconds to go, and the Pirates will get a man back. Batoni to Bork in the slot. Goes over to a point. One man is back. Bork fires. Blocked down. Bears trying to keep it alive. Turn left He scores! Play a beat. Let it rain. Ramit scores on the power play, and it's one to one. Put him down and let's throw it. I'm going to do the play-by-play of Stu throwing his bear. There he goes. Oh, he almost fell. I would have laughed hysterically. There goes Stu's throw. And about five rows short. Now, I was giving this by Ed Coffee. It's like throwing a shot foot. That actually hurt. Okay, Rock, you got it. You got it. Oh, my God. Well, that's not going anywhere. Into the stall. <laughs> it was better than that. Come on. I would like to announce my retirement from this broadcast <laughs> after that throw. I don't want to take out the, you know, Justin's grandfather's banner up here with my with my throw. But, oh, boy, what a play there. Graham Mink scores on a beautiful turnaround shot. He beats Pogey, and we have a tie score, 332 to go. And now we have a little time to chat as they clear up a plethora of flush from the giant set of ice. That's a fantastic play. promotion. It really is. It's so much fun to watch, but... What a play there by uh, Graham Mink. They couldn't score on the five on three, but the second half of it, that was a huge power play strike. Yeah, and a great shot by Mink going cookie jar. Bogey down on the butterfly, cutting off the lower half of the net, but the disadvantage a goaltender can have in that situation is the upper part of the net is not as well, as well covered. Mink picked the puck up in the shot, 